What happens in the brain when Daryl Anka channels Bashar? Here's the science. When Daryl Anka channels Bashar, something fascinating happens inside his brain. Researchers have used EEG technology, specifically the Mind Mirror device, to measure his brainwave activity during these sessions. Normally, our brains operate in beta waves when we're alert and thinking actively. But during channeling, Daryl's brain shifts into a unique combination of alpha and theta waves, states associated with deep relaxation, meditation, and creativity. Alpha waves are linked to a calm, meditative state, while theta waves are associated with deeper, subconscious access, similar to what we experience in a dream state. The mind mirror shows a balanced, synchronized brainwave pattern, often seen in advanced meditators or those experiencing altered states of consciousness. This suggests that Daryl Anka's brain enters a coherent, highly organized state during channeling, one that's different from normal waking consciousness. While this doesn't prove the existence of Bashar as an external entity, it does show that channeling involves a real, measurable shift in brain activity. It's a glimpse into how consciousness can shift and expand beyond ordinary states. Whether you view it as tapping into a higher intelligence or accessing a different part of the subconscious, the science behind these brainwave changes is real. What do you think? Can science explain channeling? Drop your thoughts in the comments, share this with someone curious about consciousness, and follow for more content that bridges the gap between science and spirituality.